Hello everyone and welcome to Sky Scholar. Today I wanted to present a very short video dealing with what is known as the faint young sun problem. You can learn more about this problem in this reference. In the standard model, the temperature of the sun is said to increase as the sun ages. The astronomers present this equation where L sub zero is the luminosity of the sun today and T sub zero is the age of the sun which they estimate at 4.6 billion years. In this expression, T is the time since the birth of the sun. As a result, 4.6 billion years ago, the sun was thought to have a luminosity which is about 30% lower. The luminosity of the sun then increases with time as T divided by T sub zero goes to one. This is actually a consequence of Lane's law first proposed at the end of the 19th century. If the sun can be treated as an ideal gas, then its internal temperature must rise, they propose, as its radius decreases. We learned in these videos that this is a consequence of a misapplication of the Virial theorem and the belief that stars can form from the gravitational collapse of an ideal gas. In a sense, the astronomers have turned our sun into a perpetual motion machine of the first kind. They are insisting that the sun can do work upon itself. It can increase its own order through self-compression while raising its own temperature. That is a violation of the first law of thermodynamics and is one of the reasons why the standard model of the sun is so outlandish. Now all of this has consequences and one of the consequences is the faint young sun problem. If the standard model is correct, the sun was much cooler in the past and so was the earth. The earth's surface temperature would have been below the freezing point of water two billion years ago. Yet geologists tell us that there was evidence for liquid water on the earth as far back as 3.8 billion years ago. So how could this be? Why would the earth not simply be covered with ice if the sun was once much cooler than at present. In order to solve this riddle, the astronomers have invoked that the earth was being heated with global warming. You heard it right. They proposed that carbon dioxide present in the earth's atmosphere at the time was about a thousand times more concentrated than we see today. This then enabled the earth to be warmer despite the fact that the sun was much cooler. Talk about reaching for far-fetched explanations to save an unfeasible model of the sun. In the end, we will never know the actual age of the sun and our estimates of the age of the earth have to be taken with a grain of salt. However, it makes sense to recognize that the sun was not cooler in the past. This is another important line of evidence that the standard model simply does not make sense. The sun has cooled over time. It has not spontaneously increased its own temperature. It is not a gaseous plasma, but it is made of condensed matter. That is all for today. I hope that you enjoyed this short video. If you did, promote the channel. Mention our videos to your local astronomy clubs. Support us with a like. Subscribe for more videos as we look more closely at the sun, the stars, and beyond. Comments are always welcome down below, and I'll see you soon on our next video.